In central Florida, the risks lying underneath the surface may seem obvious. Alligators and snakes year-round, and in the warmer months, something else. The only thing I'd ever really been worried about in lakes growing up was amoebas. Daniel Lively grew up on the central Florida lakes, but came face to face with the risk he wasn't expecting this spring break. We've tubed a lot in the area, water skied, um, gone on pontoon boats, done just about everything in the waters around here. And I mean, to kind of grow up with that and never know a single person that this happened to or even really like hear a parent warn you like, hey, watch out for bacteria in this lake. It just something something that never really crossed my mind. While visiting the St. John's River with friends, he says something punctured his leg while he was pulling himself out of the water. That night around like 1, 2 a.m., I was I woke up, I was vomiting every hour, I had a high fever, I was like very weak, very sore, like my heart was racing. And every time like I would wake up, my leg would start to feel worse and worse to the point where like eight, nine in the morning came around, I couldn't walk anymore. A trip to the hospital confirmed he had contracted necrotizing fasciitis, flesh-eating bacteria. I never researched until after we got home. We got great advice in the hospital from doctors that was don't look it up. There are terrible stories out there, a uh, really high mortality rate, and so I trusted that advice. After three surgeries and 11 days in the hospital, Dan was released. His prompt response saved his life, but not everyone is so lucky. Most recently, an Orlando man battled the bacteria for two weeks before he died August 29th. So how can you ensure your safety in Central Florida waters? We joined the Orange County Environmental Protection Agency during one of their routine water testings of Lake Conway. The results came in weeks later, showing no abnormalities. But while they test for harmful algal blooms, they do not test for flesh-eating bacteria. One of the reasons why is that uh, we don't want to create um, a false sense of security. So if we tested one square inch of water and didn't find it, but it's in the next square inch of water, then, you know, then we've told the public that it's safe to swim and may have completely missed that positive analysis. Bortles says you should never enter the water with open wounds and wear nose and earplugs in the warmer months. Be cautious. Make sure you're, um, you're recreating in a place that um, doesn't have a whole lot of vegetation um, or maybe out, you know, away from, um, in the center of the lake, away from the shoreline. Sonica Dange, WESH 2 News.